Hey, hey, people, Seth here. Today, I will be covering an older game that, at the time, was considered the best conspiracy simulator on the market, Deus Ex. Looking back now, it was a scarily accurate prediction of a future. Despite being made a full year before the 9-11 attacks, Deus Ex depicted our world in 30 years as an authoritarian dystopia. In other words, they were 30 years off. In this bleak future, there's only the super wealthy and the super fucking poor. The only food available is candy bars bars and soybeans. The only safe drinking water is orange soda, and 10 packs of cigarettes are now strong enough to kill you instantly. For this reason, secondhand smoking is now the preferred method of postnatal abortion. Or, if you care about the environment and want a more eco-friendly solution, you could also try jabbing your ungrateful spawn with a cattle prod, then put them up for adoption in the ocean. Deus Ex is an amazing game, and I'm glad people pushed me to replay it. You appreciate it more in your man-child years. Anyway, plot. You play as J.C. Denton. The J.C. stands for Jesus Christ, Denton. You're one of two nano-augmented brothers trained from a young age to be elite agents of UNATCO, the United Nations Anti-Terror Coalition, which was founded after terrorists bombed the Statue of Liberty. And as expected, everybody thinks it was an inside job to justify increased surveillance and create a supranational entity that could operate outside and above the jurisdiction of individual countries. This is nonsense. The true purpose of UNATCO is to protect you and all free citizens of the world from terror. A war on terror, if you will. Your job is to investigate, arrest, and kill terrorists across the world, but not talk to them. Because that's how they get you. They get in your head. They start making you ask funny questions. And before you know it, bang! You're a liberal. If you shoot on sight and follow orders without question, you'll go far in UNATCO. Also, the world is suffering an outbreak of infectious disease called the Grey Death, and the only cure for it is a vaccine called Ambrosia. Well, it's not really a vaccine. A vaccine would treat you, not temporarily halt progression for 48 hours. Did I mention there's not enough vaccine to go around, but just enough to make sure the most important members of our society get it? Namely, bureaucrats, politicians, and any person with wealth and influence. That's quite a coincidence, isn't it? But don't think on it too much. That's for philosophers. Don't be one of those Greek homos. Problem is, these terrorist groups keep stealing shipments of ambrosia. And lord forbid, if ambrosia gets into the hands of the poor, I'm gonna have a stroke. It's not a pretty world, JC, but we all gotta make sacrifices. Some more than others. A lot more than others. Anyway, I won't spoil too much of a story for you, but let's just say that in Deus Ex, the ruling elite control all of the banking, communications, and biotech industries. They were all in a happy agreement. Exploit and steal from everybody else. It was harmony. It was peace. Then, one of them said, we have an incurable virus. Why the fuck do we need the rest of you? And now, they are no longer in a happy agreement. Every secret society. The Illuminati. The Bilderbergs. The Rothschilds. The Bogdanovs. Wu-Tang Clan. They're all in complete turmoil. And it's all a grand conspiracy for control of the modern world. For enacting a new world order. Unfortunately, you're caught up in the middle of all this, and like it or not, your choices and actions will shape the world. Don't think I won't report this. For better you, or worse. By the way, Denton, stay out of the ladies' restroom. That kind of activity embarrasses the agency more than it does you. Gameplay. It's very good. There's a fuck ton of controls, but they're very good controls. In case you have lost your keyboard since the last video, I recommend getting a new one. The UI records absolutely everything. It's fantastic. You can even add your own notes. Skills are self-explanatory, and as intelligent gamers, you will receive no explanation. Throughout the game, you get assigned to missions from UNATCO, but each location is pretty open, forcing you to investigate and fulfill side objectives in order to progress the main story. You get rewarded for exploration costs constantly, so there's no reason not to do it. Strangely, the NPCs of Deus Ex have a habit of dropping iPads everywhere containing their banking details and not changing their recovery passwords. Throughout my playthrough, I have encountered not a single person who gives a shit about their financial well-being, leading me to believe that NPCs in this game are actually quite realistic depictions of people living in the first world. Let's talk about setting. Most of your missions send you out to cities. Then, you head back to the UNATCO base on Liberty Island. It's actually really nice to visit UNATCO headquarters in between missions. This is pretty much your home. You can talk with your boys, break into closets, hack everyone's computer, and get sexual harassment charges from HR. 
I've already reported you once. You Natco, we only recruit the best of the best to keep you safe. As Denton, you can use different tools to meet your objectives, depending on whether you want a loud or stealthy entrance, a trigger-happy or non-lethal solution. At the start of a game, you can even choose a starting weapon. Of course, the only correct option is the Gep Gun for silent takedowns. You can equip yourself with whatever you can get your hands on. Some examples are cattle prods, pepper sprays, and Chinese nanoblades that refold themselves a thousand times each second just to flex on the Japanese. You get most of your weapon by stealing shit from other people. You are a bionic superhuman. They can't stop you. Sometimes you'll be forced to pay for certain items or services. This is rarely a problem, since you can get most of your credits by hacking ATM machines. Shooting in Deus Ex isn't so much about speed. It's about waiting in a corner for your aiming reticle to shrink small enough to actually hit your targets. Without training, this takes about a year. With training, this still takes about a year. For this reason, the stealthy approach is much more satisfying. You peek out behind corners, and then you shoot people with tranquilizer darts, and then you run away as they scream and pass out. By the way, did you see what happened to the soldier we sent into the statue? He turned up unconscious. No, sir. Friendly fire? Not so friendly, I'm afraid. I have opened an investigation. Dismissed. Just be careful, because sound travels in this game. And if you accidentally drop a soy packet on the ground, the seismic tremors it creates will set off every alarm on the level. For more lethal solutions, you could just use a gun. But what's the fun in that? As a nano-augmented god, you can crush people by the sheer weight of your thighs. JC Thick Denton fills his victims with terror in their last breathing moments. There's plenty of other augmentations you can install, which take up mutually exclusive slots on the body. No matter what you pick, they're all pretty useful, and upgrading them only makes their powers more ridiculous. Throughout the story, you go to a variety of locations and speak to a huge number of people. Even unimportant side characters usually have several lines each, and the dialogue itself is fantastic. I heard that he was a frequent visitor to this compound. Do you know him? The Rumonos path is close to Guaylos. JC's perpetual autism also adds to the mood of the game. He's so deadpan and emotionless that he turns serious conversation into unintentional black comedy. Oh my god, Daddy! What a shame. He can't really be... There must be something we can do. He was a good man. What a rotten way to die. As the story develops and Unatco gradually gets infiltrated by clandestine organizations, you can uncover a lot more about the plot by being inquisitive. There's a huge fuckton of lore spread throughout minor characters, computer terminals, newspapers, and books. As you learn more, you can start putting the pieces together, find out who's pulling the strings, and practice your Latin. Also, this game predicted nuclear war between India and Pakistan. They're only one year away from becoming a superpower. Lord help us all. Real talk, searching carefully and reading everything pays off big. It can even let you completely bypass some of the hardest fights in the game. By modern standards, Deus Ex has the graphical fidelity of blurry vintage pornography, but it is completely functional. However, if it's still an eyesore for you, you can try GMDX or the Deus Ex revision mod. They both make it very pretty. The sound design is great. Everything sounds clear and crisp, which makes the world feel genuine and authentic. Are you sure you pressed the right button? I do not make mistakes of that kind. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? Yes, they do that on purpose. The music tracks are nice too. I sometimes keep the Unatco conversation theme playing when I'm calling with the shareholders. I want big giant cocks. Deus Ex is wonderful, and it doesn't take too long to finish. It may very well be the definition of a perfect game. I give it an excellent out of however many children I taste during my playthrough. My dad says you can't get anywhere if you can't keep a secret. 
So please, give it a shot. It's very cheap, and it still goes on sale from time to time. It's not for everyone. And by that I mean, if you are an illiterate, subhuman troglodyte, and you've somehow managed to evade the special needs wrangler long enough to watch this video, well, firstly, that's actually very impressive, good job, but you might not enjoy this game as much. But if you are capable of having an attention span, you'll find a plot that captivates you from start to finish, with moral and ethical questions raised that leave you in a slightly higher state of being. Of course, Deus Ex takes a very extreme view of the future, but you must remember that with each day we do not question or challenge our leaders, extreme becomes absurd, absurd becomes implausible, and implausible becomes a reality. What is it, mister? I'm really hungry. You don't look that bad. Tell me what you know about the NSF. I knew it. Someday the NSF is going to win, and I'm going to give them your description with your stupid shades, and they're going to kick your ass. As always, more videos to come, so stay tuned. You'll also be much more upbeat. Don't worry. A warm thanks to the many members of the Merchants Guild, generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. Here. Great if you like red piss. Never tried it.